everyone, welcome to The Word at One for Tuesday, June 8th. <clears throat> so we're continuing our series this week on looking at the characteristics of the family of God from 1 Peter 2, verse 9. So yesterday we talked about hey, well, how we are a chosen people, so set aside, set apart, um, and that is something that illuminates who we are, but it also does bring some difficulty, some conflict, and so that's why we have to really uh, have unity in the Holy Spirit and through our life together. And the next part of that verse is we are a holy, we are a royal priesthood, excuse me, a royal priesthood. And that is something that kind of goes back to those pictures of the Old Testament, where the priesthood was only bestowed upon certain people, and they would be the only ones who could actually go into the holiest of holies, the holy places, to offer sacrifices on behalf of the people. Well, Jesus Christ, as our high priest, offered the sacrifice once and for all, and the night that he died, the curtain in the temple was torn in two and it opened up the access to the holy place for all peoples and that happened spiritually that our access to god was opened up completely through the work that christ did so we don't have to approach god through another person through faith in jesus christ we can go directly to him and then as priest as royal priesthood we are all a part of the work of god the work in the church the work in the world we are all those who intercede for others on uh, their behalf. We do the work of God as priests, the work that they used to do as priests then is set aside a certain particular group, but now we are all part of that group doing the work of God in the church and in the world. You are part of the royal priesthood as the people of God. See you tomorrow.